In this lesson, let's stop and take a look at paragraph text. In reality, paragraph text is just like character text. It's words and letters of the alphabet. But when you get enough of those words and letters of the alphabet together into one space, there are certain formatting options you can do to paragraph text. So I am in the paragraph text.psd document in your exercise files, and I am in the typography workspace. Don't forget that. Let's move over the paragraph panel. And let's go ahead and move over the layers panel too. Pick up your type tool. But this time we're not just going to click and type. We're going to do this. We're going to get somewhere, click and drag. You're defining a type area this way, a type box. Now let's go ahead and change to a different font really quick. I'm going to use Minium Pro. And I'm going to make that font a little bit smaller, like about, oh, about 18 point. What I want to do is begin typing a couple of paragraphs, but I don't think you want to wait for me to do that. So there's a new feature in 6 that's kind of nice. If you're just playing around with formatting text and you don't really care what the words are yet, go up to the word type on the pull down menu and go down to paste lower ipsum text. And it will be more than glad to put that in for you just like that. Now, once it's there, you say, well, why would you use this? Well, we use something like this for a couple of reasons. Number one, we just kind of want to play around with some fonts. We don't really need the words. We need some letters of the alphabet that we can manipulate, decide what we like. Another one is, is when I'm working with my clients. The worst thing you can do sometimes if you want them to look at the form if you want them to see it and say, well, what do you think about the way this looks? And what do you think about this font? If it's actually stuff they can read, they're going to be more distracted by reading it than they are in looking at the form. So there's a lot of reasons we use this. InDesign has this very same feature. I love it. Let's go ahead and select everything up front. Now that's Control A. We're going to come back over to the character panel just for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that even just a little bit smaller. Let's that, take that down to about 14, something like that. Okay. Now, the said non right here, this is actually Latin. I'm going to get right here, and I'm going to press the Enter key right in front of SED, and that's going to give me another paragraph. So we actually have two paragraphs here. Now, if you want to, we can click here, press the Enter key, and come over and say, go into type and do it all over again. Paste it again. You can have as many of these as you want. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click here. Now we've got four paragraphs that we can play around with. We can start looking at our paragraph panel. Now the panel itself has formatting options for the text up here. If we want to format the whole thing, let's look at that first. If I click this button, which is taking me back to my Move tool, and I make sure this layer is selected, I can format everything exactly at the same time. If you want to work on one paragraph at a time, you need to go back to the Type tool. Once we've done that, we can come back into the document and understand I don't have to select a paragraph to change it. I just have to be in it. So if I go to this one right here, the controls now only work in that paragraph. One of the biggest differences in paragraph and character control is the difference between the fact that characters must be selected if you want to change them. Paragraphs, well, you just have to be inside of it, that's all. You do have a button here to turn on or off hyphenization. Again, that would be dealing with whatever paragraph you're in. Or if you press Control A, you can turn that off right here. And then we lose our hyphenization. Let's turn that back on again. You have options. Let's go back and just be inside one paragraph. You can push the left and right margins here. So if we go in here and say, well, I don't know, let's type in, say, 30 points and then 30 on the other side. Well, maybe it's a quote. Maybe it's something that needs to be pushed in. And a lot of times we do that with quotes. If we come over here and maybe then select all of that text, we can then go into our character panel and maybe change that to italic. So we have, in a sense, an italicized quote, if that's something you want to do. One of my favorite things to do, though, are these two down here. Now, I'm going to select all the text because I want to change all the paragraphs. I want to push, add a little bit of space after each paragraph. So if I come in here, that's before, that's after. If I come in here, and let's say we type in about to 10, and see what it does. 
it adds more space. Now this adds to readability because if people can see the paragraphs where they begin and end, basically they have a better option of looking at it and feeling more comfortable as they're reading it. If it looks like one big lump of text with no paragraphs, it's kind of intimidating. So you have a lot of options, including if you want to use this one too, we'll do it just on one paragraph, and that is indent the first line of every paragraph. Now I can type in a number, but anytime I go to one of these, if I want to, I can just drag. And I can go one way or the other. As you can see, it's slightly indented. That's another way to tell where a paragraph begins. Paragraph controls control a paragraph. Now there's one more I want to show you. Let me put a quotation mark in front of SED. So that would be like a quoted word. So SED, and we'll put it after this one right here. Close the quotes. Notice how the quote is inside the border. Now if you come up, we'll leave the cursor inside of that paragraph. If you come up to the word paragraph and click this option right here, you'll notice you have something called a hanging punctuation. And a lot of people say, what is that? Well, watch the SED over there when I turn it on. What it does is it pushes the quotation mark outside the boundary. That's what that does if you want to do that. So paragraph for paragraphs, characters for characters. You've got full formatting capability in this program for text. On to the next.